Thank you so much, Greg, and thank you to everyone for being here today. Uh, my name's Matt, and I'm co-founder and CEO of Flirty. Flirty is the world's first drone delivery service. As Greg mentioned, we're also the first company in history to get approval to do drone delivery on US soil. Two months ago, we made history. One month ago, we were the first company to fly in California on NASA's new drone air traffic management system. And today, we're the first company to fly in the state of Nevada. So I'm really excited by where we are, and I'm even more excited about where this industry is headed. To tell you a little bit about myself, I'm 27. I grew up in the suburbs of Sydney, where I went to Sydney University to study philosophy and international relations. And then I got a scholarship to go to China. And while I was living in China, in a city like Shanghai, it can be very difficult to get packages deliver delivered to your dorm room. You have traffic congestion, population density, and kind of at the macroeconomic level, you've got upwards pressure on wage rates and insurance rates across the country. So I started thinking about what the delivery service of the future would be. And in my view, it had to be faster than anything else, more efficient than anything else, and more, and more customer-centric than any other form of delivery in history. So my vision was drone delivery. And the, the, the way we sort of embody this vision is I thought, imagine a future where in the event of a natural disaster like Katrina, drones can fly in and deliver emergency medical supplies, food and water to people in need. Imagine a future where any package that you order can be delivered reliably to you within hours of making the purchase, and imagine a future where you can order on-demand food delivery any time of the day or night. Thanks to Flirty, this will be a reality. You'll simply push a button on your smartphone and a flying robot will lower your package out of the air and into your hands upon demand. The way I see it is that drones are on a similar point on the technology curve that personal computing technology was in the early 1980s. Ten years ago, the component costs of an iPhone were a thousand times more expensive than they, are, than they are today. And the smartphone revolution has made the enabling technology behind drones, the GPS chips, the gyroscopes, the accelerometers, fall precipitously to a point where they're now moving from the realm of military and academia to the realm of hobbyists and people entrepreneurs in a position to commercialize the technology. And so I think that we're all at an incredibly exciting point in history where we have an opportunity to democratize and commercialize this technology for the benefit of all. The way I see the drone space is that, broadly speaking, there are four verticals. There are hardware companies, which I think will get commoditized with time. There are software companies, which will transition to open source. There are data companies which have a low barrier to entry because anyone can strap a camera and a sensor to a drone. And there are service companies. Service companies have the distinction of being able to take advantage of the trends in commoditization of hardware and open sourcing of software to build marketplaces that have network effects. And so Flirty sees itself very clearly as a drone delivery service. The first premise behind our business is that drone delivery is inevitable and it's gonna be huge. And if you accept that premise, then there's an industry in particular that this is gonna impact in a significant way, which is package delivery. It's traditional logistics. If I wanna send you something here in Santa Monica, a package for example, the way the model traditionally works is that a package delivery company will send a car or a truck out from a warehouse, pick it up from me, take it back to the warehouse, sort it, then send it to you, either late same day or early next day. But the vision and the dream of, of companies in this space for years has been to move over to a point-to-point -point model, where the same truck can pick up the package from me and deliver it directly to you, because what that means is that you can get your package within minutes of placing an order. Drones are the technology that can enable this revolution in logistics. At scale, Drones can pick up and deliver packages upon demand, which means that the whole logistics industry is disrupted from an industry that's traditionally low, low margin and high volume to an industry 
where you're willing to pay a premium for urgent delivery that becomes higher margin at a lower operational cost. And to put some numbers on this, about 83% of all packages weigh under five and a half pounds, which is the weight that we can carry, and about 56% of packages are delivered within 10 miles of a warehouse, which is the range that our drones can fly. So 83% times 56% means that Flirty can deliver about 46% of all packages. And when you think about it, FedEx delivers 3.5 million packages per day. So this is an enormous market that's growing by the day. The, the second foundational premise is that Flirty is in the lead globally, and we're moving faster than anyone else in this space. Our focus is to have what I call a, a hot burning fire. We want to be that coal that that focuses on New Zealand because it has the most liberal drone regulations in the world and then expands that out around the world. And as we do that, we have several advantages. The way I like to describe it is that we're establishing a beachhead because once we, once we take the beach, we can take the country, um, with the analogy being that New Zealand's the country and then we'll take the world. Um, and a proof point here is that because of what we've learnt in New Zealand, we were able to get the first FAA approval to do drone delivery on US soil. We beat out companies with 1,000 or 10,000 times more resources than us in a foot race, and we're just getting started. Here's a video of the first drone delivery that we did on US soil. This drone is carrying 24 packages of urgent pharmaceutical medication that's being delivered to a remote community with people in desperate need of urgent medical care. We're the only drone company that's been invited to operate in two of the six drone sites nationwide. We're collaborating with Virginia Tech and the University of Nevada, and we're collaborating with NASA. As I mentioned, we've already connected our drones and flown on NASA's air traffic management system. But let's unbridle our ambition, because I don't think we've been being as ambitious enough. So imagine a future where Drones can make deliveries to the balcony of your apartment building that you're living in. Imagine a future where if you don't have a balcony, a drone can navigate through the elevator, up to your door, knock on your door and deliver your package 24 hours a day. Imagine a future where people have personal drones that they can program. So you left your keys at home, send them by flirty. You forgot your ID and you're in line at a club, and you're not really in a position to drive back and pick it up, send it by flirty. Imagine a future where kind of the notion of delivery is also extended, where drones, in the event of a natural disaster or a man-made disaster, deliver networks like cell networks, internet networks, and secure networks so that people have coverage and can communicate in crisis scenarios. A hundred years ago, as, as humanity was learning how to fly, 50 years ago, we flew to the moon. Two months ago, Flirty delivered on US soil. And going forward, we're pioneering a future where Flirties routinely save lives and change lifestyles. Thank you.